as well. What did you think of it, man? Yes, the infamous Suicide Squad. Um, yeah, look, this is a film that I wasn't uh, like too hot. Like when it was first announced, I was kind of a little bit annoyed because you know I thought maybe it was a little bit disrespectful to David Ayer because he never got to tell his real film and stuff like that. But as time went on, I became more curious and hyped in this movie, you know, because Harley Quinn was returning, Rick Flag, Amanda Waller, Captain Boomerang. So my interest was increasing a bit. But my excitement wasn't because I thought that it, it was poor enough because the trailers for me are good trailers, but they weren't huge standouts. You know, you look back at the old Suicide Squad trailers where Batman appears in the trailer or the Joker line and stuff like that or Will Smith. You know, it's got big stars and big characters in it. In this one, you've got characters that I never even knew existed. Weasel, you know, is one of them. And you also got Savon, you got Javelin, you've got Polka Dot Man, Teen Shark, uh, Bloodsport. Didn't know that character existed either. So this was definitely a film of unknown characters with some pretty good actors that I like. The trailers just didn't do it for me whatsoever, but I was still going to go see it because I'm a DC fan. You know, I, I'm, I, I, I love DC, so I always go see the DC movies opening night. And I went yesterday to go see the suicide squad and you know what i had a really good time i, I thought this was a very very good film it's, it's just over two hours and it feels like a three-hour movie and not in a bad way there's just so much in this movie it's so fast-paced like i thought like the mission i thought maybe there would be a few suicide squads because we know that a lot of characters were to be killed off in this uh, movie i thought that we would get maybe a suicide squad at start they're all killed off and then a new site new suicide squad's brought in but actually, the, the the story starts in the opening sequence of the movie, and then you're just in it for the next two hours, and it just goes on. It's like a like a video game or story mode, where it's just the next part of the story to get to the end uh, fight, get to the big the big CGI fight at the end, which of course is is Starro from the trailer, Starro the Conqueror. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was really well done. There's a nice rhythm to the movie. It's hard to describe the actual team for the film because it's full of fun got great comedic um, moments in it, but also has some comedic moments that, that don't land, that aren't that funny, but some of them are really funny as well. But I would say a lot of the trailer uh, jokes didn't really work in the trailer for me, but in context, they're a lot better, especially John Cena's ones. Also, this film is very heavy. There's a huge emotional presence throughout this movie, especially with Bloodsport, uh, Ratcatcher 2, which is a character now, and the actress I love so much. Amazing, amazing stuff. John Cena in this movie. We all, we've all seen him in, in comedic movies like Trainwreck or um, you know, that, uh, the other kind of comedic films that he's done. But in this movie, he's really progressed as a dramatic actor because there's a scene in particular, I won't say where it happens, but it's really, really well done. And John Cena, for me, just absolutely killed it. And if he didn't have good dramatic acting, that scene wouldn't have worked. And he was just really, really good. Polka Dot Man, I think, is going to be a favorite for some people. He was just David S. Macklin. Brilliant. Very, very good. A really, really interesting character. Uh, Sliced the loan as Keen Shark, as this gullible, stupid shark, but also has something very special to it. And yeah, I just think it's a really, really good film. James says it has some surprises. Yes, it got a lot of surprises. There's so many shocks in this movie. So many times where my, 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 my jaw was on my lap. I was like, oh my God, did they just do that? And the tagline for this movie is don't get too attached. And I will, I will back up, don't get too attached because there's characters in this movie that I loved and was really digging. And next minute they're gone and they're dead. And I'm like, oh no. And then you're fearing for the other characters in the movie. You're like, I really like that character. He better not kill off that character. Oh my God, he just killed off that character. There is so many deaths in this movie with, with, the, with the heroes, with the civilians, with extras, with the villains. And it just keeps going and keep going. And then it kind of got to a point near the it just after the second act where I felt like maybe the movie was going on a bit too long. And then we get to the third act, the big fight. And then I'm like, I don't want this to end. This is so good. And there's a nice, there's a nice beat to the movie. There's a nice rhythm where it's got it's nice comedy moments. It's heavy moments, it's drama, the action. And uh, it's very hard to describe this movie for me. And I don't think it's like any comic book movie that we've gotten in a long, long time. So the Suicide Squad for me, is a really enjoyable watch. I had so much fun, and it's a director showcasing his vision for these characters in R-rated format, and he pushes the R-rating. You know the way in One Woman 84 where 
Wonder Woman's action sequences aren't the best. And then you watch the opening to Zack Snyder's Justice League where Wonder Woman kicks the, kicks the ass of those terrorists and kills them. You're like, oh, that's my Wonder Woman. And it makes Wonder Woman 84 kind of a lesser movie. In this movie, it kind of makes Birds of Prey a lesser movie because, you know, the way the Suicide Squad is already and so is Birds of Prey. James Gunn really pushed it, pushes the already, while Birds of Prey, for me, didn't really do that. But, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, I can't wait for everyone to see it, have a good time with it. And don't listen to the naysayers who call you, <laughs> I got called a Warner Brothers shill today <laughs> for liking the movie. Uh, don't listen to those people, just go watch it and enjoy it and have some fun. That's what I did, and I'll probably go see it again. That's awesome to hear, and I can't wait to uh, see it, man. Uh, this movie is now certified fresh at Rotten Tomatoes with 97%, I think, critic rating, um, which is uh, which is pretty good for, uh, you know, but I was expecting this, and, you know, it's a James Gunn Suicide Squad R-rated movie, and from what, what I've seen so far and from you know the type of filmmaker james gunn is i had full faith in this uh succeeding but i still have to watch it so unfortunately we cannot talk spoilers today um but we'll definitely be covering spoilers and uh we, we'll have the spoiler talk next week when uh, most of us will have watched it so make sure to tune in for that